All right, so uh, let's look at this uh, interest rate swap exercise. This is based on the uh, textbook uh, uh, chapter. Um, you see uh, on the canvas, I have actually scanned those pages from the chapter. So it's the interest rate swap one, which is a PDF file on the canvas. All right, and uh, then there's another PDF file following that. So basically this, uh, um, question, this exercise on Excel uh, is completely the same question posted on the textbook. So uh, the textbook only provides like a two pages of explanation. Um, I think it's a little bit hard for you to uh, understand it the first time you read it. I think it's better for us to do some uh, exercise altogether. So right here, we have uh, two companies, okay, company A and company B. They both uh, face a different uh, rates for fixed rate loan and uh, floating rate loan. So when I say rate, that means the interest. For company A, uh, he is choosing between either a 10% fixed rate interest or uh, just a floating up rate of labor. And uh, for company B, it's facing either 11.25% fixed or floating, which is a labor plus 0.5%. All right, so that's the uh, um, interest they will pay if they get a certain amount of a loan. All right, so uh, you can see the difference that is uh, uh, pretty obvious between A and B in both fixed and floating. And uh, here you need to accept this one idea that a lower interest is better. Okay, lower interest is better. So basically, A is facing better deal than B in both fixed term and the floating term. So how much is A better? So basically, A is better by 11.25% uh, minus 10%. So that's 1.25%. Uh, so A is facing a lower rate, uh, which is lower by 1.25% uh, compared to B. And uh, A is also facing a lower rate in the floating loan and that is 0.5%. Uh, All right, so basically A has the absolute advantage in fixed rate loan because A is the rate is lower than B, and A also has the absolute advantage uh, in floating rate loan because labor here is definitely lower than labor plus 0.5%. All right, so the thing is, since A has the uh, advantage in both fixed and floating, there has to be a concern of uh, comparative advantage. So A, uh, its comparative advantage is larger in fixed rate loan. As you can see, 1.25% is greater than 0.5%. So A's absolute advantage is larger in a fixed rate loan. Okay, so we can say that um, comparative advantage for A is a fixed rate loan. And the other, um, B, would have a comparative advantage in floating rate loan. Okay, so even though, even though B has... Uh, higher rates in both floating and fixed compared to A, but uh, the in floating rates, uh, B's uh, disadvantage is a little, little bit smaller compared to its disadvantage in a fixed rate loan. Okay, so that's how we define comparative advantage. And an interest rate swap would be applicable if uh, the companies prefer the loan, the type of a loan that they do not have a comparative advantage in. For example, if A prefers a uh, uh, floating rate loan, whereas A has a uh, comparative advantage in a fixed rate loan, then A is definitely not taking advantage of its uh, 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 at a comparative advantage. Um, so that's not really a, a smart thing or a rational thing to do, but it just uh, A's uh, situation uh, compels a company A to do that. But anyways, so we should accept this. If interest rate swap, um, if uh, A prefers to pay a, um, let's say, a floating rate loan, which is uh, not uh, A's uh, comparative advantage, then there will be an um, opportunity for interest rate swap. And in other, uh, in for B, if a B prefers to fixed a loan, which uh, B does not have a comparative advantage in, or B has a comparative disadvantage in fixed loan, then there's uh, an opportunity for interest rate swap. Okay, so basically A 
um, is good at uh, fixed, but A actually prefers floating, and B is good at a floating, and B but but B prefers a fixed. So uh, that that's the precondition for interest rate swap to take place. And right here we also has uh, a a mutually agreed um, uh, interest rate swap deal, which is a LIBOR plus zero percent. Basically, that's uh, just a LIBOR. Uh, for a 10.3 percent fixed rate loan, so how could each of them um, start this uh, interest rate swap? So first of all, both companies will take advantage of their comparative advantage. So A has comparative advantage of a fixed rate loan. So how could A uh, take advantage of that? A just borrow at fixed rate loan, even though fixed rate loan is not A's favorite. Okay, so A borrow at fixed rate loan and pay 10 percent. Uh, <laughs> fixed rate, okay, fixed rate from its domestic market, and B would uh, take advantage of its uh, com uh, its uh, floating rate loan, even though B does not prefer floating rate loan, but B still will pay borrow and pay a labor rate, uh, which is floating rate, okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm sorry, B's floating rate is uh, labor plus 0.5 percent, okay, labor plus 0.5 percent. That's the uh, Floating rate B is facing. All right, <clears throat> and then uh, they each would uh, uh, swap the loan they borrow from each other, and uh, it's not exactly the loans uh, they borrow from its domestic market. It's actually uh, the deal they made. Okay, which is uh, labor plus zero percent for ten point three percent. So basically, um, a in this a swap deal, in this a swap deal, labor for 10.3, labor uh, A will pay a, a labor rate, okay, a labor rate that which is uh, floating, okay, and uh, A do this because A prefer that, okay, because A prefer that, and also uh, B will pay a floating a fixed rate, which uh, is a 10.3 percent, okay, that's a fixed. And B does that because B prefer it. Okay, that's the uh, initial motives for the swap. Okay, and uh, in return, A will receive ten point three percent of fixed rate loan, and uh, B will receive a uh, LIBOR floating rate. Oops. Okay, floating rate. So as you can see, A pays B labor and B receive labor. B pays A a fixed and A will receive a fixed. Okay, so that's a two sides of the same transaction. Okay, so what's the uh, uh, effective loan rate for A or the ca net cash flow in percentage? So for A, A is actually dealing with the three loans. The first loan is this uh, 10.10%. A borrows from its domestic market, and also A is uh, paying a labor uh, floating rates based on its preference, and A is also receiving a 10.3 percent uh, from its uh, swap deal. Okay, so basically, how much is A paying? So let's say A is uh, paying 10 percent. All right, and A is also paying the labor. Okay, A is also paying the labor, and A is receiving 10.3 percent. So that means A is a paying, um, A is a paying, uh, point three percent less plus labor. Okay, you see, A is paying labor, A is uh, paying ten percent, and A is receiving point uh, three per ten point three percent. So the net effect is uh, A is uh, paying labor minus point three percent. Okay, and what is the effective rate for B? If you look at the B's loans. And B is paying labor plus 0.5% uh, from its domestic market. And B is also paying 10.3% um, uh, of fixed rate loan. That's a B's preference. Fixed loan is B's preference. And B is also receiving a labor loan. Okay. So the effect rate for B is uh, uh, labor uh, plus 0.5%. Uh, okay. And also B is uh, uh, paying the fixed rate loan, which is a 10.3%. Okay, and also B is receiving a loan, so that's the opposite, uh, which is LIBOR. Okay, so from here, 
you can tell that uh, the library and the library here got canceled and uh, only uh, 10.3 and a 0.5 got left out. So the net effect is 10.8 percent for B. Okay. So that's the uh, final uh, effect rates for both companies. All right. So in this case, is A better off? Well, to answer that question, let's say if A just to do whatever it prefers, A would need to borrow at a library, okay? Because A prefers library. Um, that's the precondition for uh, the interesting swap to happen. If A prefer library, but eventually through the swap deal, A is paying library minus 0.3%. So A is better off by paying less, okay? How much less? 0.3%. So A is better by 0.3%. Now, is B better? If without a swap, B would pay 11.25% for fixed rate loan. But with a swap, B is only paying 10.8%. So it's B better off? Of course, it's better off by paying less uh, interest. How much better off? So uh, it's 11.25% minus 10.8%. So that is uh, so that's 4.5%. Uh, Okay. All right. 